my father is a cook uh, my mother is i can say she's just a, a farmer she does most of the farming she keeps cows and some goats cow she's called kamche <laughs> <laughs> This is where I hail from. This is where I was brought up. So welcome very much. Karibuni sana. Pande nyumbani. My mother was the one who was pushing me to to study, but really she was not telling me I want you to become this or that. She was telling me just work hard. Actually, because she did not even complete high school. I mean primary school. She's a standard four dropout. So she didn't know much of careers, like what you should become, what you shouldn't become. But I'm thankful to her because she was still pushing me. You have to go to school. And if it meant like whipping me to go to school, she used to do that a lot. I used to hate her for doing her that, for doing that then, but now I know it was really important. And I'm grateful for that. Yeah. My name is Cosmas Saro Kenga. That is my full name. I'm a teacher. I've been here for about 14 years. Kazungu was a diligent pupil. He was also curious. had a lot of curiosity in learning. I've been so active and I've been so hardworking. And uh, is uh, people who can uh, accept changes at any time. Disciplined one and well-behaved people that have come across here at Gwenjora Primary School. Yeah. There wasn't any science equipment in this class. We just used to learn theoretically. So there's not like an experiment that you could go and do on science. So everything that you have to learn you have to learn it theoretically. As you see here, uh, I really like mathematics and science. You know, like science here, this is term two. I had, uh, out of 100, I'd scored 84 marks. And mathematics, out of 100, I'd scored 78. I remember I had an A of 90 in my KCSE in maths, and I had an 88 in science in, in primary. So, yeah, and I also scored an A in high school in both uh, mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Those were the subjects I was really good at. Yeah, so this has been my journey. I was called by my deputy, principal. Uh, she called me and told me there's a program at Camry that takes the best performing students. Uh, so you could try it out, you apply and see how it uh, it goes through. We were taken around, if I can remember correctly, through the various departments at Camry, being told what it does. Then we did uh, an aptitude test. This was the toughest, <laughs> one of the toughest things. And it was through this uh, aptitude test that the best students were selected for a face-to-face -face interview. I was very happy now attending the first ever interview of my life and my career and having a bench of, was it like four or six people? I can't remember correctly, but around that. So sitting on the other side and was like... My heart was really beating. <laughs> what drove me really was I needed to find out what does really Camry do, what are the various things that have been done. Having, having been taken across the departments made me really want to know more. Remember from secondary burning with a pop sound, wanting to find more. So the urge to find more was what was really driving me. I remember the last question I was asked uh, if we called you to start your your SLAS program, School Leavers Attachment Scheme, when would you, for example, like like to start? I said, can I start now? Yeah. 
I felt, yeah. Now let me go and know more about science. Let me go and know more about what really happens at Cambridge. This is one of the. This is the opportunity actually of my life. At that stage, like, could use it, expand more, maybe learn more. And I think because I have this interest, maybe this is where I'm going to go. My mother was the first person I told. So I told her now I've got this opportunity at Cambry uh, to start as an attachment student there, just learn what they're doing. Said, wow, you know, uh, when you, you start, you will go places. And Cambry is one of those sites that is viewed, is highly ranked in the community. Mimi mwenyewe nilisikia furaha kubwa sana kwa sababu shirika la Kemri nilikuwa sio kwamba tu nilikuwa napitia kuliona bali niliwahi kuingia ndani kwa sababu nilikuwa nikipeleka vyakula vya vya outside catering sasa mara nyingine nilikuwa nikipeleka chakula nilikuwa natamani eh, angalau kama vile mtoto wangu alikuwa amepotengeza masomo yake na amemaliza ilikuwa natamani kama angekuwa angeitwa mahali hapo lakini Mungu alikuwa mkubwa akapata nafasi ya kuitwa hapo nami nilisikia kushukuru sana nilisikia furaha sana kuzama kweli nilisikia furaha sana kabisa school leavers attachment scheme is the launch pad of my career that's how short i can describe it but in long i think it provided me with every opportunity to learn more about science and health research as a career i didn't know exactly what specific path of health research would like to pass you but by going through the various departments interacting with researchers you know you get that view of if you would like to become a researcher what are the things that you would like to do and if i remember one of the events this is where now i started using a computer i've never done any computer packages in my life this was the very first moment that when i opened my facebook account i i opened my twi- uh, my twitter i also learned a lot of things that made me or gave me an upper hand in 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 when i went to university you know this little light writing good letters how to write a cv you know all those experiences going into the lab learning you know this is the center that has one of the best machines in kenya or even some parts of africa i could teach the biochemistry students sequencing rnas i will I, I was here in campus eh? coming from down here to somewhere up here you know being good in you know being able to speak out you know having having had that interaction with other people you know you're moving from that cocoon where you're coming from a small village into out here when you can, where you can meet the world be free to speak your mind be able to like you know yeah. interact have your ideas heard hear from other people exchange ideas collaborate and having a focus into knowing what you want you know so it built into me that feeling that now i know i, I research is my career from this last program you know it really helped and shaped me into the research i'm becoming now yeah I finished my attachment uh, in December. So in January I was preparing to go to college, to university. I majored in environmental health and biology. I topped the class. I graduated with a first class honors. And before even I graduated, I was looking for other staffs, actually health organization that where I could get attached to or could start working with 
And one of them was Cambridge Welcome Trust because it was the f- first organization I was thought about. And there was this program that they had started, an in- internship or postgraduate diploma studentship that they were offering. So I said, now this is another opportunity. I think it will grow me further. So I applied online. Having had the skill of writing a good CV, I think it might have contributed to me being selected. So I was called for the face-to-face interview. I was told you'll meet Dr. Ifedayo Adetifa. He was a good guy, he told me, yeah. You have been ranked high among the students, and I think this project will suit you better than these other projects that you selected. And from there on now, uh, I thought also it was a very good project because it was looking at vaccination coverage in the West African, 13 countries in the West African region. Uh, as I was doing it, I was saying now I am flying. Today I'm, I'm doing analysis for Nigeria, and tomorrow I'm in Ghana, in, you know. There's that feeling like you're flying from one country to another to 13 countries in the whole analysis. <laughs> you know, the fruits of a researcher is making your work known, sharing it with others, and those are the fruits of a researcher. You either publish or perish. That's, that's the notion that's out there. One of the best things that I learned from as in, I thought was very important from even from primary to to high school or even university. I think it's the teachers. So if you have a motivating teacher or there are teachers who motivate you and think you can do great, then you can do even better. My supervisor is a very good guy also. Uh, he's very nice. He, he, he's that guy who believes in up bringing other people, mentoring people. So the school leavers attachment scheme and uh, the postgraduate diploma uh, internship scheme are, are quite valuable, according to me, in the sense that they begin to sort of socialize people at a very young age to think about science in a positive way and to begin to think critically. So again, getting back to someone like uh, Jacob Kazungu, typically when we hire people at an entry level, they have to go through this learning curve where you have to socialize them and get them to operate in a culture of critical thinking and you know, questioning things and so on. But then for Kazungu, it seemed you know, he took it like uh, you know, a fish to water, really. I mean, he, he, he had clearly been exposed to science from a very early age. He knew what he needed to do. He was quite comfortable with the environment. And so even though he had a very steep learning curve, he did it with, very, with so much ease. I think I always say I'd like to, to become one of, like him one of these days. Yeah, I think he has achieved a lot in a very short period of time. I think he's ambitious, and I am ambitious too. I think, uh, I think he is, he is good, he is good. And now he's our director, so sometimes we always say now being near the director, you are also about to become a director, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Achieving Universal health coverage by 2030 is not just a dream, it's possible. But there's need for political will, there's need for good governance, there's need to ensure that every stakeholder is involved during policy design, policy to policy implementation. So it's possible, it's a goal that I think, uh, you don't even think, I know I will pass you further, and it's a vision that one of these days is going to be fulfilled.